Vecto Petroleum met onlangs onafhankelijke toetsen onder 45 mededingende dieselverskaffers in Limpopo, die Laveld en Pumalanga gedoen. En in die meeste van die gevallen is paraffin in die diesel verteenwoordig. In sommige gevallen rapporteer hulle selfs een skokkende 38%. Die verdinning van diesel met paraffin is verschijnsel wat de meeste al een paar keer raak gelopen en boeren van al van moet kennis nemen. Om ons meer hierover te vertellen is Dr. Rod Reinken en hij gaat van ons hier in het atelier meer inlichting geven. Welkom, Rod. Thank you. Rod, firstly, uh, the financial situation that made it possible for dilution to happen. How did we get here? I think it's always been a problem, and I think it became particularly prevalent in about 2001 when the government uh, zero rated paraffin for the purposes of VAT. Mm -hmm. And uh, the price differential then became about 80, 80 cents a litre. And subsequently that price differential has maintained and, and even increased. And uh, whenever there's a fuel increase, um, the temptation to dilute with paraffin I think becomes greater. But 38% sounds unbelievable. I mean, how, how do you get to this point? Is it a common thing? Well, the number of taxes uh, applied to diesel which don't apply to paraffin, besides you know, the, the down rating of, of paraffin for vet purposes, things like the road accident fund and the road fuel levy, mm. um, those aren't applied to paraffin. I think to make it more affordable to poor people. Uh, is it routinely done? Is diesel routinely cut back even by the big suppliers, even by the refineries? Yes, it is, particularly in winter. Um, although a few of them will actually admit it. They, they won't admit putting paraffin in, but they put the equivalent of paraffin in to make the, the fuel more flowable mm -hmm. in the cold winter time. What kind of damage can you expect from something like this? Yeah, it varies. Um, I think today with modern engines, mm -hmm. which have very, very tight tolerances on the, the, the fuel injectors and the fuel pumps, the, the damage is particularly severe. Um, today with these common rail engines, you typically have working pressures of thousands of bars, two, mm -hmm. three thousand bar working pressures and uh, very tight tolerances. And uh, it only takes a, a little bit of reduction in lubricity or a little bit of dirt to do immense damage. And the problem is paraffin is not a good lubricant. Mm. Um, the fuel injector nozzles and the fuel pumps are lubricated by <coughs> the, the fuel that they pump. And paraffin has got very inferior lubricating properties compared to diesel. Um, but can you get the paraffin out of diesel once it's mixed? No, not easily. Uh, so it's, when it's done, it's done? Yes. Now, now, obviously, uh, because there's a lot of things here, it looks like a lab, lab, laboratory here today. Um, can you test for the percentage of paraffin in diesel? It's not easy to determine the percentage of paraffin, but yes, you can sometimes determine that paraffin has been added. The traditional test is the Morton test. Um, it's, a, it's an English test. I think it was developed in about the time of the Second World War. And as far as I know, that's the test that SAR still uses mm -hmm. uh, to determine adulteration of diesel with paraffin. It consists of a, an extractant and a reagent. What they do when they manufacture IP, illuminating paraffin, is they put a dye tracer molecule into the paraffin. Mm -hmm. And um, this extractant and reagent, um, if, if there's been a, a fuel cocktail made with diesel and paraffin, um, it will turn a pink color, a pinkish color. And theoretically, one should be able to determine the presence of as little as 5% mm -hmm. paraffin dilution. But unfortunately, the crooks are, are always one step ahead in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, for many years now, what they've done is they've added a small amount of bleach, sodium hypochlorite, or uh, granular dry chlorine, mm -hmm. um, HTH type chlorine, calcium hypochlorite to the fuel cocktail, and that bleaches the color change. So it's ineffective. Mm. Yeah, but, but, so this has been around since the Second World War. It's an, it's an old test, but you have, you've got your own test for this. Yes, we developed a, a test. Um, it's a, a pellet hydrometer. Um, inside this bottle is a little pellet in a suspended housing. And our test is different because it uses um, 
the principle of fuel density. Uh -huh. And uh, if, the, if the fuel cocktail um, is so dilute that the density of the fuel is less than the minimum density specified by either the SABS 342 spec or the European EN590 spec, um, then the, the pellet won't float, it'll sink. Okay. So the pellet either floats, in which case you say, okay, the, the fuel's probably good, let's use it, or if it sinks, the fuel can't be good. A foolproof test. Use it. Now, I wouldn't say it's a foolproof well, 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 test, it's a guide. <laughs> it's sense. a guide. <laughs> the, the only other way to test it is to take a sample to a laboratory, yeah. which can take weeks and yeah, will yeah, cost yeah. over a thousand rand. So but, uh, you don't need a lot of paperwork and, and experience and classes and coaching to know how this test works. And to, it's to very simple. It. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, just a, a question. How much is this going to cost and where can you get it? They, they cost a few hundred rand. Um, we, we've got a few suppliers in South Africa. Mm -hmm. One of them is, is Rodak Diesel. It's a Bosch agency. And um, you can, if you Google Diesel Sure, you probably get um, to their website uh -huh, okay. where you can read more about it. Read more about so, it. See okay. what the cost case, is. People want to get hold of it. Um, then diesel pollution when it comes to paraffin diesel pollution isn't the only kind of pollution farmers are struggling with in the country I think a, a, a more obvious one more recurring one is, is is water pollution in diesel I think you're talking about contamination yeah, yeah, yeah. of the diesel yes um, paraffins probably not the worst thing you could find in in diesel um, water must definitely be worse um, water can cause other problems it can cause fuel injector nozzles to explode um, it causes corrosion. Uh, if there is some uh, hypochlorite bleach in the fuel, it will really accelerate the rate of corrosion. Um, yeah, you, you don't want water in your fuel if possible. Um, and if there is ordinary petrol and diesel? That's very bad as well. Um, one of the, the hazards of putting ordinary petrol in diesel is that uh, it reduces the flash point of diesel. Mm -hmm. About 4%, normally people understand that diesel is quite a safe fuel compared to petrol. It's not likely to, to combust easily. Yes. It makes it safe. But with as little as 4% petrol in diesel, it has a similar flash point to, to petrol. My word, it makes quite a difference. Yeah, and when you burn uh, diesel contaminated with petrol, it can do terrible damage to your engine. It can burn a hole in your piston very quickly. My goodness, Rod. Thank you very much for being here and sharing your insights with us. You're welcome. Ja, dit was dan Dr. Rod Rankin. En ons gesels oor die verdunning van diesel met paraffin.